Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this What is Wednesday, we're going to be talking about one of the coolest new JavaScript APIs coming to a browser in JavaScript near you in some point in the future. As you can see, this stage three proposal is experimental. Do try it and report bugs. Don't use in production. That said, there are a couple of polyfills out there available for this kind of hefty polyfills. But I have been experimenting with Temporal for a bit now, and I can say that it is very cool. OK, so me saying it's very cool, me giving you the stage three thing. What is Temporal and what is the Temporal API coming to JavaScript? Well, basically, it's a way to have a better date API in JavaScript. If you've worked at all with dates and times within JavaScript, you know that it is one of the least fun things about JavaScript. And that's why there's all these other libraries in the past moment, JS and now date FNS are the libraries that people turn to to make sense of dates in JavaScript and to at least wrangle them a little bit. And now we're going to be having the temporal API. As you can see, the date has been a long standing point pain point in ECMAScript. Yes, it absolutely has. This proposal is for temporal, a global object that acts as a top level namespace, as in you can use temporal just by referencing the word temporal, right? Unless, of course, you're polyfilling it or something. That brings a modern date API to the ECMAScript language. Now, there's a whole big post that I'll link in the description here, which is fixing the JavaScript date. And this talks about the history, the behaviors, the win layers, whys and hows, and it's short enough that you can paw through it in no time. Basically, the TLDR temporal, it, it, what it does is it allows you to have an easy to use API for date and time computations. Okay, what does that mean? A first class support for all time zones, as in you can actually work with time zones easily from temporal without having to reach for a library like DateFNS, as most people do. Dealing with only objects representing fixed dates and times, parsing a strictly specified string format as supporting non Gregorian calendars. So that's a lot of stuff. But what makes the temporal API better? Well, some of it is really just down to the organization. For instance, there's in temporal, there's things that are just straight up dates, as well as there are things such as just straight up time, or there is a date time. So you can use a date with just a date or a time with just a time or a date with a date and time. You can see ten temporal dot plain date, temporal dot plain time, plain date time. And these objects do not uh, have an association with a time zone. Now, there's also ways that you can grab time that is associated with a time zone, right? And you can convert between them. Basically, it gives you the tools to work with time zones or without them uh, and ha giving you that that nice API that we've been really wanting. Now, what are the things that exist inside of here? And forgive me for just kind of reading through this documentation. This is one of the more like APIs that you're going to want to try out to really feel why it's better. But so for instance, we have things like temporal.now.instant. This gives us the Unix epoch, um, which is something that we've had in JavaScript date time before, but now we can just grab it temporal.now.instant. Temporal.now.time zone gets you the current time zone. Zoned date time, get the current date and wall clock time in the system time and zone time of the specified calendar, and so on and so forth. And you can see when we get into zoned date time, it all has to do with a uh, you know, zones, right? Where we have a plain date, a current date in the system time zone, and the specified calendar. Now we also have things like temporal instant. This represents a fixed point in time called exact time without regard to calendar or location, as in a instant does not care about your time zone, right? Now there's a lot of opportunities and potentials here. You can see that this documentation already is very good. For a human readable local calendar, use temporal.timezone and temporal calendar uh, to obtain a zoned date time or temporal plane date. So, okay. So I don't want to read you this entire documentation because you can paw through it and see what exactly has a time zone and what doesn't. But I think really the best way to understand any of this stuff is to look at this object relationship, because this right here shows you exactly how you can work with any of these different temporal APIs, right? So for an exact time, times known since the time of the epoch or when they start, I think it's sometime in 1976 or something, you can see that there is an instant, which gives you an exact time. 
or on the other side of the spectrum, a calendar date where you have a plain month day, a plain month year, plain date, plain time. All of these things are available to you in this API. You can even see even more. You could you can see exactly what is what here. A plain year month it gives you the the year and the month. Plain month day, plain date, plain time. Instant gives you all of this stuff with offset or Z suffix, and it or a zoned date time, which gives you additional things like the time zone and the calendar as well. So there is a ton here. And honestly, it's it's a nice little read. But mostly what this is going to do is it's going to give you hyped for the future of JavaScript, because we've been using these experimentally. And I gotta say, I really like working in it. Everything feels very good. One of the cool things about it, as you can see from this fixing JavaScript's date time, is that some of the problems with JavaScript date is that the date object is mutable, right? And one of the cool things is that temporal is not. It returns a value, right? And you can just use that value. That will reduce a lot of ambiguity. When That will reduce a ton of ambiguity that comes with working with JavaScript's date. Can you accidentally modify the object date? And then all of a sudden, you're working with a date that's not something you'd expect. So you have to create a new date derived from the old date. No thanks. Um, and honestly, it's probably one of my most favorite features. OK, so explain like I'm five. What is the temporal API? Well, the temporal API is a brand new date time API that is meant to ease the pain of working in JavaScript date and time, which has always been a pain. So again, give this TC93.ES proposal temporal documentation a read and really see what kind of awesome things that it can do for you. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next What is Wednesday where we talk about one of my favorite design tools.